Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of The Messenger. Last time we left off, we were stopped right in front of a boss fight. Thank you, past me. So uh, we get to start this episode doing a boss, which I'm sure is going to go very well. Ah, uh, the worm has come to play. Barmathazel. Bar Barmathazel? He can't help you anymore. What? Impossible. What's wrong? Is the king afraid of having to do something himself? Enough. You will pay for your insolence. Prepare to die, ninja. Okay. Ooh, how does this go? Ooh, I wonder... Ooh, ow. Oh, you kind of fly it above, so it's not platform up there on those. Okay. I was kind of thinking that may be the case, but, uh, no. Oh. Oh, I didn't even... S oh my god, I didn't even see the rocket appear on the right side of the screen there. Okay. It looked like it hit you. So. Wait. I didn't see that rocket either. What? What in the world? <laughs> it's just, like, totally blind? It might be. Uh-huh. Okay. So, yeah, we do that and then attack you while flying down. Okay. I, like, vaguely remembered this fight. I didn't remember the rockets, though. I just remember I was supposed to attack you. Okay, there it comes. Okay, okay, wait, no, I just didn't see them. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> I was so focused on dodging, didn't even see the rockets. First few times. Okay. Gotcha. Come on. Ooh, you're already blinking super hard. This feels too easy. There's, there's got to be another phase, right? There, there must be. There simply must be another phase. This is way too easy. Uh, hi. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, that was a classic case of I'm watching my character and dodging, so I'm just basically looking at my character. I'm not looking at, like, the general screen real estate. So I wasn't even noticing the rockets at all. Are you turning into a beholder? You are. Or an Araman. Whichever you please. What is happening? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Can I... I can't hit them now. Okay, that's fine with me. Interesting. Now what's happening? Oh, now I dodge... Okay. While going up. Okay, that's different. Yeah. Okay. Am I supposed to be doing something here, or am I just- is this just dodging? I feel like I'm supposed to just be dodging. Okay. Am I good? Oh. Aha! Lights! Eat the power of Solon. Okay, yeah, that's one way to do it. Neato, neato, neato. <sighs> Goodbye. I got the Demon Crown. You got the Demon King's Crown. Maybe one of the blue robes will know what to make of it. This changes nothing, Ninja. The spell on the music box is still going strong. The curse will endure. Your world will fall. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Um, also, um, at the beginning of the video, I noticed that there was like a little spot that I had missed right there. Um, I went and checked it out because I was like, did I, did I just like walk past something last time or it didn't save my progress or something? Um, but it was just a crystal. It was just a crystal. Like the one of the little, one of the little crystal things that give me the time shards. So that's all it was basically. But yeah, I was curious. I was like, wait, did I miss something? I didn't think I had, but yeah, that was all it was. 
so, all right, we are good. I think we're good to go ahead and move forward. Because we got all of the power seals there already. Where are we still missing power seals? It's, I know it's the Tower of Time and Searing Crags. Yeah, that's it. So we're missing two from those two locations. Okay, and we are back in Bamboo Creek. So now where do we go, I wonder? What's the prophecy say? Where the wind chills the bones, a brave monk has a simple but important final role to play. Where the wind chills the bones. Are you at Manfred? All right, here we are at uh, one of the seals and this looks like it's gonna be a painful one because there's a, uh, there's a save point in between. And it was a painful one, but luckily I had the HP to just kind of damage boost through. My messenger's invisible because I uh, took damage during it. So we had our, our damage frames going. All right, cool. So uh, that's one of those. I thought I would go ahead and take the opportunity to grab that just really quickly. Um, so now we just have the one left in the Tower of Time as far as ones that we can uh, actually see. Obviously, we're still missing three more. So there's, you know, one more area that I still need to go to. All right, we are over here at uh, Manfred. Um, I mean, I imagine this is what you're... Hmm. Maybe not. Ow. Tough that. Maybe if we come here at a different time period, but if we come here in a different time period, maybe I might not be able to get over there. Can, can you please just drop, messenger? Just fall off the damn thing. Jesus. Aha. Yeah, there you are. What's up? So, did you talk to the prophet? Yes, seems you have a real shot on breaking the curse in our world. There used to be a messenger too? Indeed, my power was to travel back to the past, whereas you, it seems, can travel into the future. If the prophet is right, you'll be needing this to save a friend. Hey! Cool, you broke him for me. Very well, ninja. We're all counting on you. And in all of those years, these never refreeze. Alright, Manfred. I'm gonna come save you, friend. If I don't die... <laughs> I hate this. I hate this right here. God. And these spikes up here. All of them. God. Get me over here. There. Alright, just gotta do this whole rigmarole one more time. There. God. Ice physics. Alright, Manfred. I will chop this ice up for you. Don't know why I couldn't have done that with the other ice that was blocking the lanterns, but whatever. We did it. That's it. Feels great to be able to move again. I bet. Yeah, freedom's where it's at. Alright, we have the environment to save. You ready to go to the Elemental Skylands? Yeah. Let's do this. Final area in the game, or at least the, the final one with power seals. There might be another area after this, I don't quite recall. I'll be honest. Oh, I'm not gonna lie to you, buddy, this is bad. What's going on? Seems like the Demon King managed to corrupt the Clockwork Concierge. Clockwork Concierge? Big robot that tends to this place. He's a butler superstar, I can't wait to meet him. Anyway, I was gonna handle this myself, but the Skylands make the robot invincible. Where do I come in? I'll drop you on each of the Skylands so you can disable the shield generators, then together we'll see how big a punch the Clockwork Concierge packs. Enemies ahead. Press X to mash fire. You can also charge a big one. Yay, shmup! Shmup, 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 shmup. We love a good shmup. And, uh, this is also the area that, um, I did in, uh, Sea of Stars recently. Get my charge going. So when it's fully charged, you have stuff coming out of your eyes there. Which is cool. Come up. I feel like I recognize this from Sea of Stars. Alright, we made it to the air, Skyland. Catch you after you disable the shield generator. Good luck. Thank you. Alright, and yeah, there's a thing up there as we can see already. 
Uh-huh. Get me up here, please. I don't think there's a reason to go to, uh... Ow. I fudged it up. I fudged it up. I killed all the ghosts after falling down there. There we go. Bang. There we are. I think these are just like, you know, we go to a few different islands, and um, I think each of them are like a little, you know, like kind of platform challenge place like this. And then we move on to a, we do another shmup section, we move on to another one. I believe that's how this went. Alright. Definitely some stuff. I'm uh, missing down there. Yeah. There we are. Ah! Stop. Get out of here, Ouroboros. That's all I can think of when I see those. What they look like. This music's pretty good, too. Yeah, I definitely feel like I sort of recognize this music, so it probably is in uh, Sea of Stars. Hey! Go ahead and do that. Uh-huh. I believe someone in the comments mentioned that, that the, um, the music we heard when we were, um, seeing, uh, Solon and Luana, the, you know, the sun and, uh, moon guardians, it's actually, the song that plays there is actually the level-up music in Sea of Stars, which is a, uh, incredible detail that I did not immediately pick up on, so that's cool. Um... Uh... Thank you. Ah. Up here. I see. Uh... Hmm. So will this one shoot me up higher? Maybe that's what these are for? Because you can kind of get a boost by doing that. There we go. No, so close. Okay, we can just do that. Ah, so close. Damn. There we go. That's all I needed to do. <laughs> I did it. Punch that messenger. Forty-two power seals. Look at that. And then, yeah, we still have one waiting for us on, like, the main world in the Tower of Time. And then we will be good. We'll get to go to the to the small blue robe and allow them to do the thing. Well, they're not going to do the thing, because we've already beaten the boss fight, so they'll never do the thing again, no matter how excited they are, but... Alright, Manfred. I do love a good smudge section. I was uh, pretty good at these in uh, Cuphead. I remember, I, I remember, uh, I had a pretty easy time with Cuphead when I played it the first time, and I remember being surprised by that, because, uh, it did not seem like the kind of game I would be good at, but, uh, I was good at Cuphead, and especially the smup sections, although the dragon and, uh, did give me the hardest time, I think. Old Matchstick, I think it's called. Definitely need another one of those. There we go. You bastard. All these turrets. Here I was saying I'm, I'm okay at the sh uh, shmup section while I get absolutely demolished in the sh uh, shmup section. It can hit Manfred, it just can't hit me. So that's the main thing, I guess, to keep in mind with those projectiles. Is, is As long as it doesn't hit me, we're good. Okay, the Earth Skyland's here. I'll catch you after you've disabled the shield generator. Good luck. Thank you. I love my dragon butler. Gotta go back in time. Whoop. Whoop. And down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, it definitely wants me going here. Mm, did not mean to go that flying that far. My god. Okay, we go up here to change, yeah. Okay. I will go back down now. Maybe I should hit those up first, though. Yeah, you know what? We probably should. 
before going down there. Oh my god, get out of there. Never mind, maybe I can't. Maybe I can't. And I kind of got messed up there. I'm going back down to this. Okay, god damn it. It was just this. Can I get some health at least? Thank you. Okay. Screw those. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Ah, I barely fell below it. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Die. We'll just give it another good college try. Yep. Messenger, there are times when I want you to stick to a wall, and that was not the fucking time. Alright? <laughs> Your funeral. God. Alright, alright, we're back here, we're back here. I fell into a pit while coming back, but we're good. Now the question is, how... Okay, I see. I see what it wants me to do. So, we go back in time. I can't get over there right now, but I can get over there to that side. Unless I miss. Unless I miss. Okay, Rope Dart, please, thank you. Appreciate you, Rope Dart. You die. Don't want to deal with you right now. Die. Oh, some health is nice. Oh, random falling rocks. Jeez, where's my beware of falling rocks sign, huh? Uh, I do need to drop there. But I also need to get up here. Alright. There's more stuff over there. I need to go through here to do that. Ooh, it would have sucked if I had fallen there. Okay, make sure we jump, because that will slow us down. Oh, alright. At least we don't have to worry about a uh, challenge thingy here at this particular Skyland. Uh-huh. Good. Die. All of you die. God, we might be ending this episode off on a- well, we probably won't be ending this one off on a boss fight. I'll be close to a boss fight, though. Because, uh, I might be able to do, like, one more island. But, uh, I gotta do a shorter episode today because this is already late. Uh-huh. I managed to get hit by that. that, please. Screw you. Ow. I'm running into, uh, the ground and stuff. That's probably where most of my damage is taken. Has been taken. At least you don't have, like, the same HP through the entire thing. Okay. Thought I could maybe squeeze through there. We did not. Ooh, that was like a Galaga bonus stage right there. <laughs> reminds me of the layout of those. Oh, I didn't even see that cannon, my god. No. Alright, Water Skyland's next. I'll catch you after you disabled the shield generator. Yep. Thank you. I like how this is an excuse to have us kind of reuse enemies from uh, all kinds of different areas here. It's a neat way to do it. Because, yeah, these are back. Okay, well, yeah, this looks like a... fun. Yeah, no, this looks great. This looks great. This looks great. I'm very, very happy we, we can be here at this particular space in this particular time. You know? Alright. <sighs> okay, we did it. Okay, we did it. Okay. Go. Yep. There we are. You just force your face into it and wait for it to go up. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. 
was not bad at all. All right, get me out of here. Okay. Good. Whoop. So if we look at the map, this should be three here. Yes, yeah, so we we have one more that we need to grab. Water Skylands, not too bad so far. Good. Okay, I do need to get down there. I just gotta wait for the thing to go by. There we are. Gotcha. Whoop. Got you. Got you. Bang, bang. Can't help but notice that there's two pads here. One go up, one go over there. Probably want to do that, right? So let's try. Don't like these dorks. Not one bit. No. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes it's just time shards when we don't need them anymore. I mean, I can't complain. I think I think when I originally played this on my first time playthrough, I think I was already well had every single upgrade by that point too, or by this point then as well. But um, yeah, I mean they got to make sure people can get everything, so I can't complain. I can be bummed when I get it, but I can't complain. It's a it's a it's a design decision. Don't want anybody feeling like they have to grind on random enemies for time shards. Of course, Corval never really takes that much from you. Unless you just die a ton. Ow. Okay, we just we just lost a lot of HP right there. Water Skyland's kind of uh, giving us a run for our money here. This is absolutely a Galaga <laughs> enemy pattern right there. My god. That was Galaga as hell. Ooh, time shards though. Whoop. 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 You can die. Good. Scoot under there. Uh huh. That place. Don't know why I was shooting them with single projectiles when I can do something like that. Wait, what hit me? One of those fire something? Fire scout. Oh, oh, I'm hitting the ground again. Catch you after you disable the shield generator. I'm not. I'm not dodging the ground and stuff. That needs to be dodged. Come on, me. I'm just too busy focusing on all the enemies and stuff. That I'm not dodging, like, yes, the actual bits of land that I'm running into. God, I want to play some Galaga now. There's a, uh, there's a barcade that my, uh, wife and I go to pretty often. Oh, but that one doesn't have Galaga, I just realized. Damn. I mean, I should just get Galaga. I should get, like, a Namco museum or something so I can... I can play some Galaga. I always had a ton of fun with that, especially on my uh, Game Boy Advance. I had Galaga, and God, I played the absolute shit out of it. Alright, back over here. Okay, okay. Doing this for reasons. Uh-huh. There we go. Whew, nothing quite like flying through the air with no platforms. You're just jumping off of fireballs. Feels cool to do. So with that, we have one power seal left, and it's in the Tower of Time. Um, I don't remember how potentially busted... Um, like, I remember it being pretty good, and I think I remember what it is. Um, if it's... 
if the ability that we get is too busted, I might not use it for the final boss fight, just so, you know, I don't totally trivialize the final boss. We'll see. We'll see. You can probably disable it. It feels like a bit of a waste to not use the thing that I went through all this trouble to get. But, um... God, that room was a nightmare. Um, but, you know, I, I don't want to trivialize the, like, final boss. That would just feel bad, so... You know, I have fought the final boss before, but still. So, was that seriously, like... God. All that way and I didn't get a single save? I mean, I guess that's kind of the whole point of these islands. They're like a big extended challenge. So, can't be too surprised. Alright. Just get there with more HP this time and you'll be fine. Alright, yeah, yeah. We, we got it this time. You can't move too fast, because you don't want to catch up to the fireballs. That'll bone you real quick. I was trying to <laughs> stick to that enemy, and I instead just rope darted myself right into some spikes. Alright, so here's our boss fight, and guess what? I'm definitely gonna end the video there. Because, like I said, still need to get this up today, so... Alright! Hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Messenger. Definitely reaching the end of the game here. And I'll see you next time for some more.